Okay, we going? Oh yeah, we yeah yeah we going yeah we going. Hello and welcome back to another video. And today we're doing uh, just having a chat. Yeah yeah, it's been a bit of a while. My ass. Um. Oh oh fresh. Yep. See how that's off centre? That's lovely. This is going to be just having a chat today and this, it might be a bit longer than a uh, normal video because I've got like a lot to say and it's, it's technically, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make this like my last just having a chat so I'm just sort of strap. I'm going to make this pretty much my last Jeff. I'm going to make this pretty much my last just having a chat. Why can't I speak out of my jaw? I'm going to make this my last just having a chat. I'm pretty sure. Why? Why are you doing that? Well, here's where I'm going to explain and give you kind of like a, a rundown of everything that's been happening and uh, yeah, moving forwards. The first reason why this is going to be like the last just having a chat is because obviously off camera I talked to Beth about YouTube. I don't shut up about it. And she was very honest in like her opinions about like what I'm doing and obviously she hears me moaning a lot about YouTube and views and subs and stuff like that and she was honest which I really appreciate. I don't know why I'm making out like she's a freaking bitch. <laughs> she said well the problem is with your channel mostly is that you know it's, it's not stuff that a lot of people want to watch you know stuff like this the majority of my videos like unboxing just random stuff it's not it, it won't bring in a lot of new people and it's very messy because there's so many different types of stuff on here and whether I should start privating some of my videos and stuff to clean it up and you know make it look better and I took that on board I've been thinking about it a lot and she she I don't know if I said that already but um she said that it's pretty much like my diary yeah when I think about it I'm like yeah it, it pretty much is <laughs> my YouTube channel is, is like a my own personal diary I don't think it's necessarily a problem but it's the fact that I'm old moan to her, like, you know, it's, it's just so hard that, you know, stuff's not doing well. It, it just feels like stagnating and putting all this work into stuff and not uh, getting much back. It's just because it, it, it doesn't feel like anything's moving forward. Like I say, it's like stagnant. I'm just a stagnant, dirty, filthy river, dead ducks and trolleys and whatnot. And that, that's down to me doing stuff like this. It's, it's not like something that a lot of people would want to watch that it's more you guys who watch my stuff anyway will go all right we'll watch that but you'll probably click off by now because you're thinking gee he's getting depressing and i've done a lot of depressing videos i the reason i like doing the just having a chance is because it shows more of just me being real and stuff not like i'm fake or anything but it's like more on a, you know what's what's going on in my life type thing and the reason there's like so many different types of videos on my channel is because from the beginning I've been saying I don't have a niche I don't have like a thing that I go yep that's working keep going with that like there's been some videos yes obviously that have worked better but it's just such a shame that a lot of like well to have a successful video you have to use someone else pretty much like the majority of them you know Zoe Berger and Celeste Vega and freaking like the other day Erica Costell and freaking like PewDiePie merch review, Teddy Fresh merch review, um, Run For The Cube reaction, like all of my most viewed videos are based around other people. And it's like, I really didn't want that. I really didn't want to be the person like a leech and using other people to move forward. But I've now realized two years later, that's, that's what you gotta do pretty much. If you want stuff to move forward a lot quicker. I mean, I can just carry on doing the stuff that I'm doing and it'll just tick up, tick up, like, and it, it just, it'll be very slow, but it just feels like there's no, I, I prefer it to like, yeah, let's go, let's go, freaking, like, come on, we're actually getting somewhere, but it, ju it just doesn't feel like that. And it's like, I get some boost at some point and they're just like, boom, nothing again. And this whole like chasing for, yeah, just like success, it's, it's not something I can force and it's something that is just gonna happen if it does. And even if I make the best thumbnail and title about someone else, it's not even going to necessarily get, like, the traction that I'm thinking, oh, yeah, that's done good, that I never say one. Um, and, yeah, like, it's, you can't force this this thing. But you can do your best to kind of play the game, if you know what I mean. If, if I want to do well, I've got to, <laughs> i kind of got to, like, use other people and do that kind of stuff. But then there's videos, like, where I get slapped a hundred times, like, People watch that or the duct tape challenge, like challenges. People like seeing that. Like people wouldn't search just having a chat. No, that's what I'm realizing now. It's like, yeah, I, I need to stop 
doing that kind of stuff if I want to actually move forward. So hence why it's like from now on it'll be very much just videos, the normal ones, like trying to actually you know get somewhere. And hopefully you guys can appreciate that, that I'm I'm just trying to move forward. And recently with the whole but okay I. I recorded the video uh, a week, uh, it was literally before I did the Erica, uh, the um, taste challenge, that was it. It was the same evening, the taste challenge. I sat there and I recorded a video, like much like this one, basically coming clean and going, you know what, I'm sick of this, I'm going to be a trash YouTuber, I'm going to clickbait everything, I want to get views, I want to move forward, and I pretty much said a lot of stuff that I'm saying now, but I was like, no, I'm going to be the, like, the worst YouTuber, I'm just going to like put no effort into my videos and just clickbait the hell out of it, and you know, I, I even quoted, yeah, that I would be worse than Lewis Clark, and that was a... Uh... Was a low point for me. Now I'm thinking about it, it's like, I just, I can't, I just can't, <laughs> I can't like, I can't be that person. And like, even with my secret addiction thing, like, look at that thumbnail. What is that? Like, I just can't, you know, like, that's, that was my attempt at maybe doing some sort of clickbait to get new people to be like, interested, I, I don't know, I just can't. I've, I've just got to stick to being honest. If I'm going to rip into someone, like actually have the thumbnail and the title relevant to what's going on, I just can't straight up clickbait because I just, I can't, and it's not gonna get me anywhere. I went through a little patch like that, and Beth like stopped me, she said, no, don't put that video out. She said, just try what you wanna do, see what happens, roll with it. And then obviously I made the Erica Costell video, and it's like, okay, we're getting some views. And it's not necessarily like clickbaity, but it's more of those kind of videos that I look back and go, I'm not proud of that. And yeah, it's like, I'd, I'd, I'd much prefer videos like this to get more traction than those ones, but, when it comes down to it, those ones do. I need to work on that, and that, that's that's why it's like I'm not cleansing, but I'm gonna just focus more on the the videos that I know will do well. My my content obviously will change somewhat. I'm, I'm not a clickbaiter and stuff like that. I just I can't, and it I, I would be getting hypocrite left, right, and centre from obviously people like Lewis Clark, like me calling him out on it and then saying, I'm gonna be worse than him now. <laughs> Cause I just, I, I wanna do well, I want I want to do this for a living. And that's true. That's what I, I, I really wanna do this for a living. And it's not feasible. I, and looking at now, like the chances of it, like seems so bloody slim. And the state of YouTube is, it's just a, oh, absolute apocalypse. But that's where there's a horizon, all right? Now, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and it's like, I'm not going like, right, this is it, I'm done, I'm giving up. And I, I genuinely, if I didn't hit a thousand subscribers by Christmas, I was like convinced, I was like, not nah, giving it up. It's because I just want to see it move forward. But no, I'm, I'm, I'm rethinking a lot of stuff, and yeah, I know what I've got to do now to, to, to move forward and actually get some stars, do all that kind of stuff. Not moan so much, you know, it, it, I might moan quite a lot to the camera, but I moan a hell of a lot more. Uh, off camera and it's the, the feeling I got with the, the Erica Costell video like watching the views like going up like seeing something like actually do well was so nice but when it comes down to it like what the video actually was it's like oh, what is that like what is that kind of video but that's where I gotta find the balance between like I, I don't want to I don't want to be fake like and lose myself if you know what I mean but if I want to do well like I gotta say so yeah but on my quest to progress, I I want to I want to get monetized. All right, I want to start making some money. Okay, I know I was like I, I was monetized at one point. I was like, now nah, I'm gonna take it off because it wasn't it, it didn't warrant it. But um, I'm very focused and dedicated to this now. Right, this is it. Like I'm moving forward, and the first goal because you gotta have goals. All right, you gotta have goals. First goal is to get monetized. All right. So what I need is a thousand subscribers, obviously. And 400, no, 4,000, sorry, 4,000 hours of watch time over 12 months. Now, you're probably thinking, all right, how can I compare this to anyone? Well, Mr. Andy Views, right here. Okay, pretend he's there. Uh, so, Andy is currently monetized. Now, he has about 1.8 thousand subscribers. So, he's got that. That's in the bag. Done. Now, the watch time. I've, I've, I've spoken to him when it was like the KSI and Logan Paul fight about watch time uh, quite a while ago. Yeah, he, he was telling me, like, I think then, how much was he getting? Oh, I can't remember that, ignore that. But anyway, he was like, he was doing well, and obviously with the Lewis Clark video that he originally did, he's probably still getting watch time from that, and you know, that that was within the year, so the watch time he's got from that added with all the stuff he's been doing, like he's accumulated more than 4,000 hours of footage watched, 
in order to get monetized. Why am I oh, saying this so weird? It, it comes to about uh, 240,000, I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you, 240,000 minutes over 12 months. That's how much you need. Currently, I'm not, not getting that. But like I say, I've, I've had a couple bangers that like, my watch time, yeah, yeah, nice. But you, you might look at one of my videos, go like, oh, he's got three thousand, like three thousand views on a five-minute video. But then when you actually look, you like, <laughs> I get maybe about a thousand watch time minutes. It's because people are literally clicking on it, realise they're looking at this ugly face, not a naked girl getting done. Yeah, uh, so they click off. It's not necessarily all about like the numbers of views, like to your watch time. It, you need people to be watching the entirety of a video, and especially like a longer one, if you have a lot of people watching a longer one, then you will do better. Hence with the whole 10 minute mark thing, they could squeeze in the next ad, like advert and stuff like that. The more watch time, the more adverts you can fit in, the better. So anyway, my quest to get the watch time, I don't know currently what I'm on, but it's been ticking up nicely because of Erica Costell's video, but the watch time, I've come up with a theory, okay, it's called Project Robin Hood. Now, because YouTube sucks ass, and they're just being a, such a knob to all the creators, I thought, you know what, it's time to, you know, use the system a little bit. And I've been thinking in my brain. Now, my plan is to have a playlist on my channel. Obviously, there's playlists already with, like, challenges and vlogs and whatever. I'm going to create a playlist that has all of my live streams that I've done on this channel. Now, I'm, I'm not 100% sure how many live streams are done and how many hours it accumulates to, but what I need you guys and girls to do is to, <laughs> when you go to bed, I want you to plug your phone in, so it's charging, you know, so it's constantly being charged, click on that playlist, press play, put auto play on, and then turn your phone upside down and pop it on the floor, or wherever you put it, okay? Turn the volume right down and just let it play. Now, let's say you get an average of six hours sleep. My videos are just playing through whilst you're asleep. You know, you know, you watch them. They're just playing through. Six hours footage has been watched. We'll call it about 350 minutes, okay, of my videos have been watched. Now, that's from one person overnight, not having to do anything, but literally just put their phone auto playing. Still technically an organic view because someone's watching it. YouTube don't know whether you're actually looking at it or not looking at it. Okay, they, they, they don't know that, unless they've bloody got science stuff, reading eyes, uh, to know whether someone's actually watching a video. So that's one person's 350 minutes of watch time. Boom, I've just got that. Nice, okay, this is this is your guy's way of like helping me, by the way. Please, please help me. So that's if one person does it. If 10 people do it, that's three and a half thousand watch time minutes. Now I would need on average 5,000 watch time minutes every week over 12 months in order to accumulate enough to get monetized that's like the standard what you need and based on my current numbers like if i was getting 60 views on a six minute video i would need to upload 14 times a week which is twice a day every day for 12 months in order to get the right amount of watch time to actually get monetized so back to the 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 thing <laughs> so that's if one per uh, 10 people do it as three and a half thousand watch time minutes that's one night 10 people doing that now if 100 people do it that's 35,000 watch time minutes over one night six hours on average minutes of watch time on my channel very nice now that would be the biggest help that you could ever do for me it doesn't cost you anything you don't have to really do much you're asleep you just flip it over and you let it roll. Now, I will sit there and then claim all this lovely watch time, eventually get monetized, and my plan is once I actually start earning money, if we keep doing these kind of methods, I will be doing so many giveaways, you know, and just giving back to you. Hence why it's Project Robin Hood, because it's taken from the rich, okay, that's YouTube, and given to the poor. I'm not doing well. So that's my plan. If you guys could do that for me, that would be such a big help in order to boost my watch time to actually get up there. The whole subs thing, I will, I'll be working on that anyway and I'll be still producing as much content as I can for you guys as possible to entertain you and make you forget how uh, terrible planet Earth is. So if you guys can do that for me, I will continue being your dickhead on camera. That would, that would do so much good for me. But you know, keep on down, I don't want YouTube to get wind of this and be like, what's he doing? Well, <laughs> I'm robbing you. Uh, that's my plan. 
Yeah, pretty smart. Yeah, I know. And once I do get monetized, if you guys can literally just watch through the adverts, you don't know how much more revenue you do get when you actually watch through or click on the advert. That would help me so much. And like I say, I will then begin my process through giveaways and stuff like that. Give back to you guys, okay? Does that sound like a plan? Boom. So that's pretty much all of that. But yeah, just comparing numbers and stuff, it was really interesting to see the fact that I would need to upload literally twice a week. Uh, no, twice a day, every day, for eternity, just to get monetized. And Andy uploads about once or twice a week. Monetized. And I worked out that he would need to get, on average, about 800 views based on a six minute video in order to get enough watch time to warrant staying monetized. So, yeah, I thought it was quite interesting. But, um, anyway, that's, that's my thoughts on it. Yeah, like I say, I think this is gonna be the last kind of just having a chat because I don't want this to come across as my diary at all. I just want to try and produce good content for you guys, keep you laughing, do all that kind of stuff, and work my absolute arse off to bring you the worst content ever. Okay? Sweet. Nice. Make sure to drop a comment down below, and a slap like, slap dislike if you already hate me, and um, make sure to slam subscribe, because we're doing well, we're ticking up nicely. Thousand, I'll literally, I'll dye my hair, well, I just, no, don't know. That's stupid. A thousand subs and I will give away. I was gonna do a giveaway anyway. Yeah, I'll just do the giveaway that I was thinking of. I ain't telling you, but I'll do that still. I'm still doing the giveaway, but we gotta hit a thousand. All right, so tell your friends, tell your family, do all that kind of stuff. Make sure to slap subscribe. And I will see you guys and girls in, not a depressing video, but in an actual good one. All right, see you later.